in a typical vacuum infusion operation, a thin skin coat of chopped fiber and resin is applied to a gel coated mold. The gel coat is the part's finished surface and the skin coat acts as a protective layer that prevents the vacuum infused reinforcement materials and catalyzed resin from penetrating through the gel coat surface during curing. Once the skin coat is cured, reinforcement materials are placed in the mold. Depending upon the part requirements, inserts made of metals, woods, plastics, or other materials can be easily placed into position within the mold. These inserts serve as stiffeners, fastener receptacles, or other purposes. Special flow materials are common in vacuum infusion. These materials are laminates of reinforcement materials with a flow medium incorporated into it. Under vacuum, the flow medium allows the resin to flow unencumbered through the reinforcement material in a desired manner for timely, uniform distribution of resin throughout the part. Once all the reinforcement materials inserts and flow mediums are in place. T-fitting connectors for the infusion tubing are secured within the material. Depending on the size and complexity of the part, one or more T-fitting connectors are used. These connectors are typically located towards the center of the part, while the medium for drawing the vacuum, usually a spiral tubing or spiral wrap, is secured around the perimeter of the mold. 